Wait, hold up. Oh, it's top to bottom. Oh. Okay, we're restarting. Hello, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Age of the Cast. We're on the borders of Khand today, which is actually a pretty awesome uh, 4v4 maps. One that I actually don't mind playing on. This and Gardens of Lorien actually make for pretty fun games. But in a typical pretty boy Daxton fashion, he's gone and had to mix it up a bit. We have a 3v3 top to bottom on a 4v4 map. A 3v3. So, top team, we have Mordor. It is Sawman. In the top, it is Dogodor. It is Daxton's Dogodor. And to finish it off, it is Ewan as Harad. Facing them, the poor SOBs, is Pool as Mordor. We have a Lorien. And it's just Master of Blank. So I guess we get to fill in the blank. And then it's kid named J Blue. <clears throat> I have no idea who the hell that is, but he is playing Gondor today. So a three v three on a four v four map. It could be an interesting format. Um, if they were doing it left to right, it would actually be kind of interesting because then it would be two v one on this side and then two v one on this side. So you'd have to like send help all, all the way across the map, I guess. Um. But yeah, 3v3 on a 4v4 map. I don't know why he did this. Actually, yeah, I do know why. Because he is so sick to death of South Rune, that's why he's done this. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, Broken Rebel are being used to capture the inn, which is odd. And Master of Blank is suddenly Master of Mugging, because he's just taken the inn from him. Daxton, why are you retreating Broken Rebel? Their lot in life is to die. Well, there you go. Anyway, he dropped the arrow volley as well, so baited out an arrow volley. That's actually... That's a soft win for Dogaldor, I would say, baiting out the Arrow Volley. Arrow Volley is way more valuable than one Broken Rabble. So, just, just purely because, I mean, he's got Broken Rabble back already, and oh, the Arrow Volley is still on the cooldown. Anyway, we've got some clansmen wanting to uh, walk off the map. Hey, I don't blame them. And uh, now they finally turn around and fight at 50% strength just to get cooked. Okay, maybe these guys are going to get bullied. We'll see, we'll see. <clears throat> Ewan trying his hand at harassing. We'll see how he gets on. Getting peppered by the Orc Archers. Warlord does fall. That's a bit unlucky. Um, but as a uh, bit of a fuck you to the enemy, he does drop a uh, dry spell there. So Mordor going through that dry spell. And I'm hoping Lorien, like, does something with that in, or at least tries to solidify the middle. He's making some Pelagi Expeditionaries, that's not too bad. There's a lot of space to work with, because remember, this is this is a map made for eight players. Lorien's going in. See, now would be a good time for Arrow Volley. But you fucked that up, so we're going to have to save. A lot of his troops are kind of stuck. The archers are getting lots of value. I don't think there's a Spire out yet. So, no um, Risen Dead. Although it looks like he doesn't actually need it, so... Actually, Plagger is still going. Plagger is still doing. Resistant to fear. Okay, that's an ability you have to activate. Okay. Sorry, I kept vanishing for some reason, so it took me a while to read that. Alright, well, he can just go ahead and cap the in back. That was a bit of a L for Lorien there. Gondor cleaning up a few walks, but... Yeah, in typical... Uh, Sawman fashion, he does not care. Where one orc gets cut down, another shall take its place. Sawman should change his name to Hydra, I guess, I don't know. And he's got a little bit of everything here. He's got spears there, so the cavalry was forced to retreat. Lanterns could stop Sawman here. The archers could focus the pikes, and then the cavalry goes in. This guy might be a certified new player if he doesn't go for lanterns here. Because he could instantly heal the building if he just got one of these. Well, very fortunately, they do actually save the Malon Tree, but you should actually pick that up. Alright, Suladan's on the field. This could be very... Oh, we almost saw a misplay. Oh my god, you saw that aggression. He was just dying to get in there. And he would have literally choked on those pikes. It wouldn't have been hot. It would have been terrible. Because that's a lot of... That's a lot of orcs. Alright, Corsairs with their hand grenades. With their... Uh, what would it be instead of a Molotov cocktail? There's no Molotov in the uh, Middle Earth. What would it be? Who is the Middle Earth equivalent of Vyacheslav Molotov? It would be Mouth of Sauron's cocktail, because that's like the same kind of role. Foreign minister, I guess. 
Yeah, it works. No, what are you doing? You and I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to make weird jokes, and you're and you're making it difficult. Somehow he actually didn't get punished for that. I'm not sure. I'm gonna guess that Paul didn't focus all of his orcs on uh, Suladan because they, they, maybe they were attacking something else. But yeah, Suladan is a very lucky boy. Necromancer on the field, really, Daxton? I guess. I guess it's okay to. Too lame when it's you. I, I guess that's what it is. But looking very nice with that um, house color there, and that's gonna that's gonna stop the that's gonna stop the uh, orc spam for a while. He's gonna have to rethink his strat there. Or Lauren can come in if they go with you can go no further, and then just uh, uh, spam Lauren archers. That could work, but with the way this Lauren's been playing, I, I don't really expect him to do that. But that is definitely what I would try and do. Anyway, Baragon being chased, but... No, wait, hold up. Why doesn't... Oh, this J-Blue guy. You guys are picking on noobs, what is this? What am I watching here? Alright. Um, Shagrat's on the field with a bunch of Black Orcs. Sort of 2v1 here. Okay, yeah, definitely 2v1, but... Doggledore's coming over. They don't know he's here yet. Now they do. And we'll see. We'll see what Necromancer can do here. Mordor's army is very strong. With those black orcs, but he has to obviously get within range. Lorien's decided to stand and fight. And there's that. There's that. Uh, Age of Drink pathfinding for you. Alright, well, the elves are leaving Gondor to die. I kind of feel bad for J Blue, but whatever. Alright, there's Aravol. It kills some of the orcs, I guess. Oh god, and now Risen Dead are on the field. No mercy from Dogledore. There's Forest of Fear as well. And Rumon needs to leave like yesterday. And it's suffering a lot. I don't know why it's doing that. It's kind of annoying. I'm not even like on high or anything. That's just, that's just odd. It's like a lot of armies, but it, it should still be fine. That's very odd. I don't know what that what that's about. Alright, are we getting any upgrades? We are. Straight to level 3. For the Numenorian Vanguard. And actually activating Shagrat's ability there to give all of his boys damage. Or is it armor? One of the two. Either way, it's working. If Thelian Wood isn't going to make a difference, there's just not enough Axemen in there. If you're in a gating leadership like the old Athelian would, then it might have done something, but... Yeah, nah, I just don't think there was enough men there. They're gonna hold the line here. There are, There is a clash on the left. And a lot more orcs are dying than you would think, actually. That's very strange. Oh my god! Well, I told him to rethink his strat, and he just showed up with three mountain trolls. Not even not even Olok High, just regular trolls. And Gothmog, alright, that'll work. Until Necromancer shows up. Oh, well, Necromancer's going straight for the throat. He's pinging. Um, I think you can keep on going, Daxton, but... Yeah, you definitely can keep on going. No! No! Okay, just keep on going. No, no, no. A fort for a fort. An eye for an eye is from the Jewish part of the Bible, but it still works. Come on. Come on. Rebuild. Dogledore has a rebuild. No, they don't. Fuck! <laughs> What idiot said Doggledor had a rebuild. You know what, just... In times of extreme panic, you should just say whatever comes into your mind because you can get away with it. Daxton went back to save his friend. Obi-Wan Kenobi would be proud, but I feel like you should have got the fort. Alright, there's Numenorian Vanguard. Is that what they're called? Yes, okay. And a nice trample there. And they could run down Gothmog. Nope, they're going to go the other way. And these trolls are probably going to try and get one more building, but archers have got their back. Do these guys have bonus against flyers or something? Someone has a... Who has the bonus versus flyers? Or is that goblin arch? Uh, one, one of these weak-ass units has it. Okay. Well, Ewan, I think you can safely blame uh, Daxton for not defending you, but also Sawman for uh, dicking around, so... You know, just playing your teammates is, is the lesson, I think, is uh, meant to be learned here. Alright, Morgul Spire. 
with Orc Spam and Gothmog Leadership, I think he's just going to activate all of that at once and just full rush. It's going to be pretty cool when it goes off. Um, what's he making here? More cavalry. Very nice. I need to cough. Excuse me. <coughs> I hope that didn't sound too bad. There's no way I will edit that part out. I just will not be able to find it. Okay, here we go. Leadership. Black Orcs. Drum Patrol. Nazgul Fear. Not enough range damage to really burst our Necromancer, but... They might... If they focus them here, I mean, they're going to take a lot of damage. But if they all focus them, because they've got Mobile Vanguard in there... Oh, sorry, Mobile Orcs in there. Oh, dude, no. There was no focusing there at all. Literally none. Literally none. Drum Patrol is doing nothing. Castellan tanking everything. I mean, they're mopping up the Tomb Guard. Look at them go, but... Yeah, no, that was, uh... Like, you saw how many hits this guy... Uh, how many hits it's taken to clear up all this? I feel like if you had focused him, you would have got him. Level 7 or not, Dax is pretty slow on the draw. There's no way he gets Shapeless Malice. Dude, I am just merciless to Dax, and I feel so sorry. Okay, Morgul Spire's gone off. That's what that sound was. That's what that uh, fluorescent green light is. And there we go, straight for the fort. Luminor and Vanguard are here. Gothmog's wailing at it like his ex-wife. And fire... You know what? I was not expecting that. The damage buff applies to the Orc Archers, of course. It's not just, like, melee damage. And there it goes. Easy. He's got a few spikes in there. So his plan was to use fire arrows to burst down a fort. That actually got him Wraith on Wings as well. Hold up. It's 50%, right? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it... I don't know why I just didn't think to combo with Orc Archers, but there you go, there's Saw Man. Watch them just nerf Orc Archers for, for no discernible reason now. Anyway, poor, tro poor Treebeard. Having to fall back. And fall long defending nothing. As another Gondorian building falls. There's Wraith on Wings. Who are we hunting today? Oh. It was bottom model that got Wraith on Wings. And it's fine, Shapeless Malice will keep him alive. There it is. Wait, was he on low health? Wow, Wraith on Wings does a lot of damage. Well, here come the Ologs, but... And he's going to try and make something of it. I'm not sure. Does he have Forge Blades? He does. I mean, Paul's doing well. He just needed to focus Necromancer there. That could have gone so much better for him. And I hear a who on. That is not where the who on is. There's the. <gasps> Come on. Oh no, the fire damage. No. Oh my god, that was like one volley. Literally one volley. Sweet. That was way too fast. That could have gone so bad for Sawman. A couple of hit, a couple of swings from that who on, and he's dead. But there were so many orcs. One volley was all it took. All right, level eight. He's about to bust. Surely. And Ewan still doesn't have a fort. I don't think he has a builder, actually. That would be kind of funny. Literally just operating out of the, uh, the barracks. And... Okay, yeah, this is... Uh, we're looking at Dax and Spellbook. Okay. So he's got tier 3. He's 11 points away from tier 4. And... Even though Ewan is largely out of this... I think Gondor is actually completely out of this. Let me have a look. Yeah, Gondor is completely out. It didn't seem like top team was really in any doubt. But Paul did try to get something going. We do have Galathrum. But again. I don't think that's enough to beat this. <laughs> I'll be honest. We'll have to just wait and see. Alright, Ewan may not have a fortress, but he does have a caravan. So at least his units can still get upgrades. I wonder how... I wonder where and how he lost his builders. Because I don't remember them going down. Okay, here we go. Soulman's on screen, so naturally it stutters. It's just the way the game goes. Whenever this guy is involved. And one volley should do it, or is he not going to... Damn! You know what? Respect to Treebeard. 
Got a few kills at the end there, but that took three whole volleys. Now, I don't think Lauren has any spells. One of these mortals is closer th to tier 4 than the other, and I don't know which one it is. Alright, he does have ma uh, um, whatever the upgrades are called. Malon bows, there we go. Packs of Doom. And respect, Master of Blank, for standing your ground, but... Yeah. I think those orcs were actually out of range of the Gothmog leadership, and they still tanked the arrow volley. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some, I guess. I mean, it's not unstoppable by any means. I know there's a lot of leadership in there, and he did Morgul uh, Sorcery, Morgul Spire. But Morgul Spire does not give you armor. So with enough, with enough damage, you could counter that. Oh my god! Yeah, like that. With enough damage, <laughs> anything gets done. Isn't that just Sawman's Lark? That was Pool's Reign of Fire. Because I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Sawman the benefit of the doubt, saying he didn't just nuke his own army for the lols. Dude, I'm trying to click on Shagrat. I have no idea which one is Shagrat. Seriously, he looks like any other orc. I just wanted to see what level he is. Is it this one? No. I, 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 I could not tell you. Well, I guess we'll never know. That was a game that was sent to me. That is all I will say about that game. I hope somehow you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.